What is happening champions? It is about damn time that I pulled the SU-100Y out of the garage and had a great game in it. Now this is a lot of fun, this match, but it's also very interesting and I want to tell you why. I play this tank like a jackass in this match. <laughs> and what I mean by that is normally when you play a tank destroyer like this, especially this, um, you need to stay hidden. You need to hide yourself in camouflage, bushes, stay far back away from the battle, and, and just try to pick targets off. And that is really, really good for this tank because it has 190 millimeters of penetration. It does 440 average damage. Uh, it's really good at doing that. And the only thing it's not good at doing is hiding because, I mean, it has a big fucking cannon, but it's also a big fucking box. Uh, and its camo value is terrible. So, one of the biggest tricks about this tank is learning how to hide yourself effectively. And I'm throwing all of that shit out the window right now, right today. Uh, I, and granted, it is a tier 6 maximum match. If I was trying to pull this shit in a tier 7 or 8 match, I would get destroyed. And, uh, on the opposite side of the coin, the enemy SU-100Y does try to pull this shit in this match, the same shit that I'm doing. And his, his fate is a little bit more of what you would normally see if you're trying to play the way I'm playing in this match. Uh, I'll, <laughs> I'll point that out when we get to that part. Anyway, as you can see, I'm full of indecision. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm just driving around in circles. Uh, what, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Get your ass back in line. Anyway, uh, look at me. <laughs> Come on. Make a decision. You can't shoot through a mountain, goddammit. Um, but anyway, eventually I'll wander my way to the middle and uh, I'll start damaging enemy tanks, punishing enemy tanks. Because at this tier, with this much damage and this good of penetration, you're going to one-shot quite a few of the enemy tanks. Uh, you're not always going to do it. The other tier 6s, of course not. Uh, some of the tier 5s you can, but... Uh, the tier fours, oh yeah, you're going to destroy those things. And it's going to be a lot of fun to do it. This Panzer IV over here is going to really, really wish that I had found a different position. Boom! And I was not afraid to take that shot. I'm not afraid uh, with 190 millimeters of penetration at tier six. It's just, wow, very, very strong. And there's really no reason to use your premium ammo here. I know it gives you a little bit more damage. Uh, let's actually check that out. 510. So it gives you quite a bit more damage, actually. But, I mean, the standard ammo is so powerful. And with, with uh, premium ammo, it takes away your penetration. You get 20 less penetration from it. Put a good shot into that M4A3E2. So standard ammo works just fine at any tier that you're in. Okay, so now we're having a big problem. That's a that's a lot of tanks up there. Uh, a lot of enemies going up the northern path. I did just take a hit. This was stupid of me. I was kind of aiming. I, I It did give me a penetration marker, but that was really, really close to the gun mantle. Uh, and the gun mantle is really, really hard to defeat, especially on American tanks. Now, you'll see me shoot at another gun mantle later, but that will be on the Panzer III. And I'm not really afraid of the gun mantle on the Panzer III. Boom. And that's normally what happens to your SU-100Y when you drive around like a jackass. <laughs> so there you go. There's the other side of the coin. Uh, of course, I get really lucky in this match, uh, and I have a lot of fun, and I do really well. see what kind of uh, position can we get ourselves in here so that we're the safest because I don't want people coming from the north and absolutely raping me but it looks like they might be doing that but this guy's a rock star on our team an absolute badass the Hellcat he comes up to this position in the northwestern part of the map and just holds it down like a boss and I want you guys to know that so uh Von Gecko, excellent job, sir. Now, I've got to charge this guy because he's angled, and I want to make sure I get through him. So I'm charging him. I'm going to take a hit. There you go. But, boom. 
put one right in him and blow him up. That's what I'm talking about. Now, if I don't get to cover, I'm going to get shot. Oh, shit. Ah, fucking ELC. I will make you pay. The debt will be paid. Suck on that. That's what I'm talking about. ELC out of play. Now we're behind cover. Like I said, that Hellcat's doing a great job of keeping our uh, northern flank secure. Panzer III here. This is exactly the moment when I'm not afraid to shoot through the gun mantle. And sayonara, sucker! That's what I'm talking about. He's dead. Now, what else can we shoot at? Five kills. I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, and I really am having a lot of fun because this should not be going this well for me. Uh, this tank is not meant to be played like this. But it's working somehow. So there's their Churchill 3. I'm going to move up here. See what I can find. It is a T-150, which is really dangerous right now because I'm only on 147 health. And if he has that 107 millimeter, I could be in a bit of a pickle. But this T-150 driver was absolutely clueless. I, I don't know what the hell he's doing. Uh, is he trying to outrun me? He's not even aiming his turret at me. So I just take the chance and I go over the hill and I aim for the engine. Hoping to get a fire. And my diligence is rewarded. I get a fire. He burns to death. I get my top gun. And we win the match. So there you go. <laughs> the SU-100Y. Taking some hits, but uh, normally that doesn't happen. You're not going to get hit a lot in this machine, especially in the higher tiers. You need to try and keep it hidden. That's why I've got this camo on here. I need to get a camo, Ned. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Maybe I just forgot to put it on. But, um, yeah, camo net on this thing, really essential because once it gets spotted, it's in a lot of trouble. And I know that sounds a little hypocritical uh, of, for me to say that right now, but this match was really just an exception. Um, I got really, really lucky, and I was top tier. So worked out very well for me. I really love driving this tank. If you guys want to go out there and buy one, I, I would definitely recommend it. It's a fun tank. But it, it has a bit of a learning curve, so it's really hard to get used to. Anyway, let's go to the after battle results screen. Well, there you have it. If you get this tank in a tier 6 maximum match, it's just going to be an example of the bigger guy beating up on all of the little guys. Uh, this thing is absolutely devastating in a tier 6 maximum match uh, and very fun to drive if you're the one driving it. Um, but as you can see, it has its weaknesses. I did play it a little too aggressively that match, I will admit. I usually try to hang back, be the sniper guy, but on Fjords, there's not very many places to snipe anymore after their, their remodel of how it used to be. Um, I think that was in patch 8.6. It could have been 8.7, but one of those patches, they changed the way Fjords looked, and they took away all of those cool sniper positions everybody used to rush for at the very start of the map. Uh, and I can understand why they took him away. It's just I was one of those people that used those positions. <laughs> so it was kind of shitty for me. But um, anyway, 61,225 credits earned, 3,320 experience earned, doubled for the uh, first victory of the day. And my crew is my SU-152 crew along with my SU-100 gunner. So that's going to be very nice to get that double experience for them. Uh, 61,225 credits. It is a premium tank, so you're going to be making lots of money with it. I only used standard that whole match, so that's my cost. So I netted 49,401 credits. Definitely, definitely a fun tank and very worth it if you're trying to make money. Um, the next tank I would get, I, I actually kind of regret not getting this in the first place, although it was a little expensive was the SU-12244. That just looks like a really, really fun tank. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this tank. It's very, very powerful for its tier, and it's, it's really fun. I've had some good replays in this thing. But I am looking forward to one day getting the SU-12244 and hopefully trying that out. Team score, 2,198 damage done, 6 kills, 1,107 experience with Top Gun as my battle merit. What did this guy get? Lucky. Huh. Witness an enemy vehicle being shot at and destroyed by another team player. Or enemy team player. 
You must be 10 meters or less from the enemy vehicle at the moment of its destruction. I don't often see that one. That's, that's pretty unique. Uh, eight shots fired. Eight of them hit. Only seven penetrated. I did have one bounce, and that was, you know, kind of shitty. It sucks to bounce in this machine, especially when your standard ammo has 190 millimeters of penetration. But you have to accept that it's going to happen. Uh, but I did do 2,198 damage with only seven shots hitting the target and penetrating. So that is awesome. Eight hits received, five of them were penetrations, and three of them were non-penetrations, with a potential of 1,045 damage. And that's because I played aggressively. Really, that's that was my problem, is I played a little too aggressively in this tank, got in the face of the enemy. I did get some good kills, but it also could have killed me. That was very close to death right there. I only have 700 hit points, and I took a potential of 1,045 damage. So... Just keep that in mind when you're driving your SU-100Y. And like I said, I made a pretty penny. Had a lot of fun doing it. There's another Top Gun. If you liked the video, leave me a like. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Take it easy, gents.